Hello everybody. I greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is the first time you visit this channel. I shall suggest that you subscribe. Today I will continue with my topic about why the delay of the prayers. Last time I was talking about why the prayers sometimes are not coming and it is true that there are some it has also happened to me. It has also happened to many people. It actually the word of God is true. God is alive and God is true. And the word of God is true. According to the word of God, Jesus said that if you abide in my words, ask me anything and that I will do. And according to the word of God, nothing is impossible with God. Nothing is impossible with our God. That means that whatever we ask, we must make sure we we must know and make sure we know that it is in his power and the our god you ask him anything it is in his power and believe you will get but it is very true that there is many christians are actually living in poverty and if you can ask myself yourself if these Christians are not asking their God to provide to them, why are they living in poverty? It is very true, and this is not just a joke, that many Christians are living, are losing their family members, and their family members are dying every day because of the sickness. And you will ask yourself if these people are not asking their God. And maybe you will ask yourself if God is real. God is real, I tell you. And there is nothing that is impossible with God. And there is nothing that God cannot do. There is no disease that God can't heal. I tell you, no disease, no disease, absolutely no disease that God cannot heal. And there is no bacteria no virus even in no big animal that god cannot kill but it is true that many people they pray and they do not get so if you want to know there are some other reasons why people are not why are people not getting what they have been asking for I want, I'm suggesting you to check my previous video where I was talking about this, about this, um, there is so many reasons that sometimes the people do not get to receive their pray, their answers for their prayers. And um, if you, if you also have been praying the same way, you can correct yourself and uh, to make sure that uh, you know that now when the next time you pray, you make sure that um, you know what you, what is, what can hinder you from receiving your prayers. So you correct yourself before you continue. But today I'm talking about uh, sometimes actually you pray, but the prayers delay. The prayers delay. Why prayers delay? Many the answers delay for the prayers. You have been asked by God, maybe from and but the prayers delay. I am going to add to, to read for you from Daniel. The prayers delay. From Daniel chapter T ten verse twelve to thirteen, and this is a, Daniel was the prophet of God, and he was praying for something, but then the prayer delayed. It delayed only for twenty one days. Actually, the prayers can delay for a long time, even for years. But it, the, the answers, but it it, it, it delayed for twenty one days. But then Daniel got vision from the angel, and the angel told him, Do not be afraid, Daniel, he said. From the first day that you proposed to understand and to humble yourself before your God, your words were heard, and I have come in response to them. However, the prince of the kingdom of Persia opposed me for 21 days. Then the Michael, one of the chief princes, 
come to help me for I had been left here with the king of Persia so you understand if there are some princes some princes on in the spiritual realms that they are can be fighting that you do not receive your prayers the princes of the darkness you know they will they are fighting days and night that it, you do not receive your prayers sometimes it is because there is some assignment from the devil to make sure that you do not succeed do you understand that there are some people really when because when you first when you um, accept Jesus in your life you have announced the war with the devil and the devil will start to fight you a child of God this is my understanding that you will start to the devil will start to fight you a child of God to make sure that you do not make good income you or if you make income maybe some things happens all the time maybe children are sick and if things started to go very really, really wrong maybe you find yourself into a lot of battles on those are spiritual battles and sometimes these spiritual battles go into also in fighting that you do not get what you have been asking for from your own god the devil is fighting in the spiritual realm with those those because when God sometimes is sending some angels with your answers for your prayers, but then these demons, big demons, <coughs> you understand that these big demons in the sky, they will be fighting you, a child of God, from not receiving your prayers from your answers from God. They are waiting, they are starting to fight with these angels on the sky so that the angels shall not come to deliver your answer maybe the angel has been sent maybe to help you a child of god to open the door some places maybe to so that you can receive your prayers maybe you've been asking for a job and this is the angel has been sent to given given order by god that they should go some place and do this and this and this so that you will find you will find yourself that you are getting that job but then the angels are being hindered in some places so that to make sure that they are not coming because when they they started to become busy and dispute with these demons because these demons it is they are really they are really evil and their job is always to dispute with the angels of god for anything that so to make sure that we you know i just read from jude chapter 1 verse 9 but even the ephraim michael when he's deep with the devil over the body of moses he did presume to bring also we are talking about the angel michael was fighting with the devil over the body of moses think about that this is you know the moses was the man of god Mm, and the long time ago and when he died these demons they can also fight over the body of someone who is dead because they are really there so the the angels are very busy all the time fighting the battles for us so sometimes when your angel has been sent from heaven to re to deliver your answer some you know the angels they are what is what I believe is that there is different types of angels and um, this angel Michael is a great angel this is the one who is a, was the angel who was also led the war in heaven against the devil in those time long long time ago against the devil and his fallen angels and the this the and then they were defeated this the devil were de defeated by this angel of God and he and the other angels so this Michael is a great angel but I believe also there is some angels who are not so very strong enough or may very big enough and these angels they need sometimes assistance from the angel Michael 
or other angels to fight the battle so if you understand this you understand that in the spiritual realm in the highest place even if the bible is talking about in in so we wrestle not against the flesh and blood but against the principalities against the powers against the rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual weakness in the high places sometimes the in another bible they say in the heavenly places so in the high place on the sky on the highest places up there but in the spiritual realm there are also some demons they are really fighting for you fighting you a child of god they make sure that you do not make good income because you have maybe because you are a child of god it can also be assignment from the witches maybe somebody who has bewitched you and he has given the orders to the demons to make sure that you do not succeed and these demons they are fighting you they're fighting even when you are praying Sometimes it can also be that it's just the devil himself because even the devil he was he wanted people to worship him so that he can when you know you have heard that there are some people who sell their souls to the devil and you can see that they succeed after that. The reason is because the devil is stopping fighting them. And if they succeed because they do not have anyone who is fighting them and if they can do whatever they do but you a child of God you uh, you become fought by these devils because the devil does not want you to succeed so if you are not a prayerful person if you are living in sin you and you say that this has something to do with you. you claim to be Christian at the same time you're living in sin so you will be beaten by the devil and no help from God and you find yourself into may ever more problems every day it is true that if you even if you are doing business you will see that many times Christians are much more in trouble than the other people because if, if especially those who are not prayerful people even if when you are prayerful so if you don't know how to pray correctly so many times you will become into trouble into maybe making business i have been in that in that situation myself until i found out this I just tell you because I have my own experience. When I was praying, 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 I just had long prayers. And I, when I started, and it came to the point, when I started to mention success, and I felt something inside of me is shaking every time I speak about success. So I understood that if something was inside of me is blocking me from making some, some success in life. And then I started to fight those evil spirits. And it was not easy. I tell you and I give you testimony that yes, until God sent me some angels to fight those demons i am going to give you this testimony where in the future because now i am going i'm talking about i'm going about this so you must understand that this is very true and demons are real and god is real jesus is the savior and he is real and you must understand that so uh, in the next video i am going to tell you exactly what i'm going to discuss with you exactly what to do in some situations that you are praying and you are not getting your prayers and not only that i'm also going to give you some tips on how to fight this spirit because this is called to be it what is needed because if you're praying and you're not getting what you're getting and you know you're praying correctly but still you're not getting what you're asking for it can also be that it is a spiritual battle so to make sure that you, your prayers does not delay, be with me to the next video where I'm going to talk to you about how, what you can do. Praise the living God.